Hey guys, Paul here. Bluetooth, Arduino, Android, and a motor controlled with an external power source and transistor relay. Let's check it out. Guys, everything in this video has been taken from Hazim Bitar um, and his app ArduDroid, and I'm putting links in the description to this guy's work. Really amazing. The Bluetooth protocol broadcasts at 2.4 gigahertz, which is fairly high, and it shares the same frequency as Wi-Fi. The transmit pin from the uh, Bluetooth module goes directly to the receive pin on the Arduino, and the transmit pin from the Arduino has to go through a voltage divider and we've got a 2k ohm resistor there and a 1k ohm resistor here and their intersection is going into the receive pin on the module pin coming out of the other side of the 1k resistor is going into the transmit pin on the Arduino so that's how the voltage divider works there Pretty important concept because the receive pin on the module only takes 3.3 volts and you've got 5 volts coming out of the Arduino potentially. Um, other than that, you don't have to worry about any of the uh, voltages here. The uh, VCC voltage, 3.6 to 6 volts. So you're cool plugging that directly into 5 volt um, on the Arduino here. And, and then we've got ground as well. Now some sources have the TX and RX or transmission receive going into pins 2 and 3. However, I'm plugging directly into TX and RX pins or the 0 and 1 pins and it's working great. You want to make sure that you unplug the TX and RX pins when you're uploading else you're going to get errors. Over here we've got a 3.7 volt motor with a propeller on it, and it just wasn't powering enough from the UNO's uh, pin. So what I've done here is created a transistor relay. And what I'm doing there is using an NPN, negative, positive, negative, transistor here. And we've got the emitter going into ground the base going into the pin on the Arduino board and the collector of the transistor going into the negative lead on the motor. And then we've got the positive lead on the motor going into an external power supply. And here it's the 3.7 volt battery. Got a 4,000 milliamp battery here, really good for such a project. And then the negative lead of that, of course, going to ground. All right, so you'll notice the uh, HC05 is blinking rapidly. That means we're not connected by Bluetooth. So after opening up the ArduDroid app, just click on settings here and connect me to a Bluetooth device. It's going to scan there and you can see the HC05 right there and it'll give you a confirmation that we're connected to the HC05 and note that the blinking um, is slower here as well. Now we can turn on lights on our breadboard. And let's do a couple lights here. I've got an RGB red, green, blue light there. Uh, all right, let's check out the motor running off the external power supply and the transistor relay. Works great.
it's really cool that we're doing all of that through a very small NPN transistor uses a relay can really get a lot more versatility using an external power supply in this case a 3.7 volt 4000 milliamp battery hey you guys thanks for watching subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and peers who are into programming for the microcontroller and using uh, motors as well and stay tuned for more microcontroller projects we'll see you guys real soon